Good evening and welcome to uh, episode number 102 of Tetraki TV. Uh, my name's Rob Yates and this evening I am going to attempt to do two episodes of Tetraki TV. Why? Well, last night I was at home, uh, my little girl was asleep, my wife was out with friends and I have to be honest, I fell asleep with my laptop on my lap on the sofa at the usual time when I do Tetra Key TV. So tonight I'm going to try and do two episodes. Uh, this first episode, what is it I want to ask you? I want to ask you, are you an ostrich or a giraffe? Now, this is critical to your success and you knowing which one you are and what it is you can do to help yourself. You see, because sometimes having a little bit of both is, is really, really useful, but being stuck in one is of no use to you whatsoever. I spent some time yesterday with, with somebody who would actually describe themselves as a, an ostrich, um, uh, a new client, and, um, and, and they continually have their head buried in the sand. You see, for them looking into the future and whenever they see a problem, it's too hard to deal with the problem, so they um, just try and avoid it. The problem is that they try and avoid it by pretending it isn't there, and, but, and then the, the problem arrives and hits them. Uh, excuse me, my oven's going. The problem arrives and hits them, and, um, and they're surprised by it, and they've got no resources to do anything with it, sorry I'm cooking at the same time as talking to you, um, and, and they get smacked, they get knocked over by it. Um, I'm now letting my dog out. And so that's an ostrich. But sometimes being an ostrich is a good thing, isn't it? Um, sometimes we just need to go and find some time and space just to go and, uh, just to go and be, to go and reset. Uh, personally speaking, the other week I went for a two-day, one-night canoe trip into the North Cascades in uh, Washington State. Um, I had my mobile phone turned off. In fact, there was no signal. Uh, I didn't take anything with me other than some food and a nice bottle of whiskey. And just for 36 hours, I went and um, put my head in the sand. I just went and recharged. However, getting stuck with our head in the sand can be incredibly negative. Uh, as could be the behaviour of a giraffe. So the behaviour of a giraffe um, is a tall animal with a long neck that's always about and looking. The problem is that the more you look, the more you see. Um, and so you can see all the good and all the bad. Um, you can see too much of everything and become overwhelmed with what it is that you see. Um, and, and so if we uh, have um, giraffe-like tendencies, you see a giraffe sees everything good, bad and indifferent and takes action. Uh, we're, we'll move on demand, we'll always take a, a route forwards, but giraffes rarely stop and press reset. Um, they, they rarely uh, find the opportunity for themselves just to, just to think and reflect. They keep on moving, they keep on looking about. And they see everything, and yet they see nothing at exactly the same time. And so if you're a giraffe-type person who's always up and looking, um, looking for the future, looking at everything, absorbing everything about you, quite possibly what you need to do is to go and get very, very specific about what it is that you're looking for and, and hunt for that. Look for that and look for that only and maybe come up with a way of putting the blinkers on for some of that other stuff, that other noise around you, which is a distraction. And so which one are you, an ostrich or a giraffe? And what is it that you need to do to, to help yourself? Um, are you the ostrich who gets bowled over by things, even though those things are entirely predictable? Um, or are you the giraffe that keeps on moving, never presses reset, always sees everything, yet sees nothing at the same time? Have a think for yourself which one you are. Have a think for yourself about what it is that you can do to help yourself to um, embrace who you are and how you are and yet still go and achieve what it is that, that you want to achieve. Maybe you just leave me a, a note in the um, 
in, in the comments section below, just so I can see your name and see whether you're a giraffe or an ostrich. And, and possibly in the comments section, um, what it is that you can do to help yourself. So I hope that's been useful for you. Being stuck in any one, one of those is, is of no help to you in the slightest. But having, um, having the resource to be both, possibly, could, could be uh, amazingly beneficial for you. Personally speaking, I'm a giraffe, and I have to force myself to go and have some, uh, some ostrich times. There you go. So I hope that's useful. Um, I hope that's uh, thought-provoking for you. Uh, leave me some comments, and um, I want to come back later in a couple of hours and talk to you about fear. Uh, what you fear and how it can benefit, for, benefit you, and how you can use fear in your business to succeed. So stay well, and I'll see you in a couple of hours' time. Bye.